you will hear the words strong and weak often when dealing with automatic resource counting. Strong references mean that one object needs the other object to stay in memory. A weak reference means that the link doesn't necessarily need to be there. So let's take a look at how that might work and some scenarios that you definitely want to make sure you avoid when dealing with automatic resource counting so you can avoid memory leaks. Let's look at a common scenario of an online order and placing an order for that shiny new iPhone 6. So I'm going to create a quick class called order and it's going to have a variable of type product. Now, I'm not going to worry about a collection or anything like that. And for now, that'll be good enough. It's an order and it needs to hold on to a product. Then let's create the product class so that we can add it to our order. And in here, we're going to want to reference from the product back to the order that that product is on. So here we'll do order. And since at first we're not going to assign them, we'll have to use optional variables for both of these. So now we're going to create two local variables, one for my order, and then we might add that product to the order. So I'll say my order dot product gets iPhone 6. Pretty common scenario. So now our my order class has a strong reference between its product property and an instance of the product class. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to say my order dot product and we'll use the implicitly unwrapped optional code, which is an exclamation point. And this is really handy. So if the property is null, your statement isn't going to crash and get a null reference. So we put the exclamation point and then dot order. And the statement just will have no effect if my order dot product happens to be nil at this point. And we'll assign it a reference to my order. So in this situation, we have an order assigned to a variable called my order. And we have a product instance assigned to a variable called iPhone 6. The order instance has a strong reference in its product variable to the iPhone 6 instance. And then the my order dot product dot order has a strong reference from that product instance back to the original order. Now you've got two objects, both have a circular strong reference. And this is a problem because if you had other variables out there referencing these objects, as soon as you eliminate all the external references to those objects, they still refer to each other internally. So that's going to be a big problem because these objects will now stay in memory because automatic resource counting will look at them, see that they have a reference to each other, and they're both strong references, so they can't deallocate one or the other, and that instance will stay in memory. And that's how you get a memory leak. We solve this with a weak reference. So typically, you'll give the weak reference to something like a child object. In this case, it's our product. So all we have to do is prefix our order property here with the keyword weak. And that'll tell the compiler that our order instance here is a weak reference. So it can be deallocated. And thus, that will break the circular reference between the order class and the product class that would cause them to stay in memory. So whenever you're dealing with objects or referencing other objects that could potentially reference them back, you need to make sure that you pay attention and mark one of the sides of the relationship as a weak variable. Otherwise, ARC won't be able to find that object because it will always have a reference count greater than zero. If two objects are pointing to each other, there's nothing the compiler can do about that. Even if you null out all your existing references in the current scope, the objects themselves still refer to each other and will stay in memory. 